Welcome to PC Woods Kids Tech Talk. Today I wanted to show you Patriot's G Series DDR RAM. This one here is Extreme Gaming Series Memory, made for AMD, so it's Black Edition ready. This kit is 4 gigs that I'm looking at today, and it's low latency. Okay, so we're talking about fast RAM here. Now the memory timings are 77720 at 1.7 volts by default, but you can increase that and change this and make it work even better than it was originally designed for. Okay, so 1600 megahertz, as you can see, wow, we're talking about some good RAM here, and we're going to put it to the test. Now, um, the heat spreaders, the heat sink that you see, the lightweight aluminum black heat sink over it will allow us to overclock it, right? I like the smooth edges on it, so you won't uh, get yourself cut, you know, no sharp pointy things sticking out, so it's pretty nice, and uh, installing it in my machine also looks pretty cool. Uh, as you can see here, I'll just show you a quick picture, black on black, as you can see, so not bad at all. And um, the system that I'm using today is the Phenom 2 X4965, uh, the Asus motherboard, an HD4890 video card, and some other neat uh, components, as well as Windows 7 Ultimate, okay? Now, if we just install the memory without overclocking it, just put it in there and let it run on auto, nothing overclocked, everything default, it gives some pretty good, de decent results with these memory timings, okay? I, I must admit, 77720 is pretty good considering the low voltage and everything. But you can actually squeeze more out of this, no problem, right? Because running this at 77720 doesn't rank it right up there with the best of the best, right? You can actually change the memory timings to 99924 on this memory module and get more out of it, right? So you increase the voltage from 1.7 to 1.8, change the, the memory timings in the BIOS to 999, and that's what I did, okay? Running it at uh, 1333 megahertz, as you can see here, and now when I did the uh, tests on it, it did rank higher, as you can see, right? So definitely doing much better with those timings adjusted and the uh, voltage up to 1.8 volts. I even increased it higher to 1600 megahertz, so 800 times 2, effectively, because it's dual channel, and uh, you can see here, definitely higher, in the results and um, what I did is I decided to install other memory modules on the same piece of hardware and compare it. 51.3 nanoseconds is pretty darn good. That's low latency. So low nanoseconds is good, right? That's what we're looking for in DDR RAM, okay? Low nanoseconds is fast RAM, okay? So when I compared it, I had OCZ, I had um, Corsair, I've got Kingston, I compared it with same timings, uh, similar voltages, you can see here how it ranked Patriot is right up there, one of the fastest compared to the Kingston in first place, but this is really good RAM, as well as the overall 3D Mark scores, very, very well, high scores as well on that one, second place, and on the read results, okay, so when we do some read results here in megabytes per second, very high results as well, higher than the OCZ and the Corsair. And in the write results, it's right on par with the Kingston. So definitely great memory, great memory. It's right up there. It's not at the bottom, right, the Patriot memory. So you can see here that the results are really good on this system compared to the other memory modules, which I installed on the same machine. So I definitely recommend this RAM if you're looking for AMD um, compatible memory. And I'd like to thank Patriot for providing it. And I hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you for watching.